1997 ACHS season. We want to share with you some of the sights and sounds from this past season. We've enjoyed watching all the great people, the horses, and races. It has made the ACHS very special. Let's put on the Well, it's a good one. Lots of sunshine out there right on through the afternoon with our guaranteed high at 70 degrees, and we've exceeded that already by a couple. feel like I can drive. I mean, I think I was born to drive. Western Dreamer, dream away on the outside. We've got a triple pound winner. It's Western Dreamer, Mike Bushon. Ken? 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 Well, let me help you out. Oh, thank you. I'll thank you. I, I was just... All right. Me being a former athlete, knowing what it takes, uh, you need some luck, you need to be sound, you need to be healthy, so to say. And um, I look at all these horses as athletes. In the stretch drive of the 97 Breeders' Crown, Malabar Man is playing with this field. This is a rout! This series has given the sport great exposure. We've had a chance to be all over North America. Gary, what are the images that you'll remember? Well, one of my highlights of this series in 1997, Bruce, is you inexplicably <laughs> in the sulky with John Campbell. That should never happen. That's incongruous. What about individual horses? Well, actually, of course, Western Dreamer nailing down the first Triple Crown in 14 years. Malabar Man probably picking up Horse of the Year honors with his Breeders' Crown victory. And then the Breeders' Crown ladies, Steinem's Place and No Nonsense. Women, and of course, working with you, pal. We've enjoyed working with our production crew all year, also our talented group of technicians, Heather Vitale and Ken Warkington as well, and all the people at all the different racetracks who made it very easy for us. And uh, it was a great, a great deal of fun. Uh, a lot of room service food, but a great deal of fun. Take a look at some of the point standings as uh, the season draws to a close very shortly, and you can see that Western Dreamer Malabar Man's names uh, figure prominently there. And they'll figure prominently as well in the year-end divisional balloting when we get down to the horses that are champions for 1997. And as far as the two-year-olds are concerned, Rustler Hanover uh, jumping up nicely tonight with, uh, with the second-place finish. Second-place finish in a platinum race gives him 24 points, so he then takes the lead for the two-year-old Colt Pacers. Well, we've tried to personalize the drivers, trainers, and owners in this series. We've shown what it takes to win and train. And here's the pick three from tonight. California Connection, Arturo, sealed and delivered. 4-15-20, the payoff. Three, five, and six. Coming up next on ESPN2, it's the NBA Tonight, the live nightly news and highlight show covering the NBA. And so the ACHS bids farewell to 97, but not without a share of memories of scintillating stories, fantastic finishes of supreme surprises. For Gary Seibel, I'm Bruce Beck. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.